Good afternoon and welcome to our Wednesday afternoon update from Forward Free Methodist Church. We hope that you are all well. It's great to see so many people tuning in to our online Sunday gatherings. This week we have Neil Hudson joining us to share the message. Neil is the pastor at Salford Elim Church. He's been with us on a number of occasions and it's going to be great to have him joining us this weekend. Also, don't forget that we have our weekly Zoom prayer meetings at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. on a Tuesday. You would be really welcome to come and try praying over Zoom. It's really relaxed. You can join the meeting. You can just listen. You don't have to pray out loud, but do come and see how it works. The codes for that are on the weekly prayer updates, which you should be receiving via email. Also, don't forget that you can still join in with our Zoom Bible study on a Saturday morning at 10 a.m. with Pastor Andrew. Andrew is sharing with us about how to get the most out of reading your Bible. Again, Zoom codes for that are in the emailed updates. Uh, we love hearing from you, whether you want to share something that you would like prayer for or whether you just want to pass on some good news, that would be great. Please do get in touch with us. You can do that via the phone, via email or on social media. We really do love to hear from you. And don't forget that even though our church building is closed, our church is still very much open. If you drive down Lightfoot Lane today, you will see our brilliant new banner which tells everyone that church isn't closed and tells them how they can connect with us online. Don't forget to keep inviting your friends and your family to our Sunday gatherings. Um, and let's be praying that lots of people see our banner and lots of people connect with us in that way. The Bible makes it really clear that even though we can't go to church, we can still very much be church. In John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. How fantastic that even though we can't go to church, we can still live in the light of Jesus. We can still have his light and his word in our lives. Jesus isn't confined to a building. He wants to bring his light into our lives and into our homes and into the lives of our friends and family, and neighbours and work colleagues. Psalm 119 says that the word of God is a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. So maybe today we need to ask Jesus to bring his light into our lives. That might be through reading a Bible verse that you know really helps you. It might be through putting some worship music on. It might just be through sitting quietly and letting Jesus in. Let's let God's light into our lives today. Let's live in the confidence of that. Jesus said in that verse that when we follow him, we have the light of life, regardless of our circumstances. So however we're feeling, whatever we're facing, we can still live in the light. Now have a great day. Look out for an email update tomorrow and another video update on Friday. Bye bye.